Hi my beautiful Aquarius and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your um, November reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome, and those of you guys that are returning, I'm so glad to have you. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe. Um, as a way to give back, for those of you guys who are subscribed, I do do a giveaway every month. I choose a winner to win a free reading um, out of my subscribers, so for those of you uh, that are interested in that, you guys can look out at the end of the month for that. Um, other than that, everything you need for personal readings is in the description box below. I am doing 2020 forecasts as well as a couple of different options that will only be available between now and December 15th. So I left a separate link for that below if you guys are interested as well. Alright, so today I'm going to do you um, verse them and then I'm going to do your mutual energies and then pull some romance angels and angels answers. Alright, so let's see. Aquarius, how are you feeling towards your person? Oh, so how's Aquarius feeling towards their person for the month of November, please? Show me, how's Aquarius? How's Aquarius feeling towards their person in the month of November? We have the Ace of Swords. So you're either, you know, there could be some clarity that you're seeking or you're wanting some clarity from the person that you're dealing with. I sense that communication is, you know, a huge focus point for you right now. Show me how Aquarius is feeling towards their person. Death. So I sense that there could have been a huge, uh, huge transformation or a huge cycle here. There could have been some sort of ending here where you're wanting to clarify or you're wanting clarity. There could have been a breakup for some of you and you're needing clarity. You're needing closure for some of you. And then we have the Page of Cups. Some of you are wanting a new beginning with somebody. You're wanting to reconcile with somebody from your past. Let's see. How is Aquarius this person feeling towards them? We have the Knight of Cups. So the offers are, you know, a very mutual energy. I haven't even pulled the mutual energies yet. How's Aquarius this person feeling towards them, please? Whoa. The Emperor. And the King of Wands. Your person definitely sees you as somebody who is very, very, you know, I definitely sense you are somebody who has your career together or you know what you want. When it comes to your career, you could be somebody of high authority here. Um, a very, very influential person, whether you know that or not, you do have the means to, you know, influence a large amount of people. So that could be something that you may decide that you want to do here because um, with this energy, you know, you could be, um, for some of you, this is, you know, a same-sex relationship that I am sensing or same-sex where you guys are, you know, not completely in a relationship yet, but you are dating here. I'm sensing that the person that you're dealing with is just seeing you as somebody who is very in control. They're seeing you as somebody that they want to extend an offer to here. I sense that this is somebody who is coming in very, very genuinely. This is somebody who's coming in with their heart on their sleeves. Um... But there's definitely something that needs to be cleared up here with this, you know, some of you could be dealing with, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries here. Um, but I'm sensing that there is clarity that needs to be had here. So let me pull some mutual energies and then I'm going to clarify some of these for you guys. I'm going to use the sexual magic tarot for the mutual. So what are the mutual energies between the two, please? Show me the mutual energies between these two. What are the mutual energies between the two, please? All right, so death. For some of you, I'm sensing the two of cups, wow. For some of you, I'm sensing that this is somebody who like, there's this quote and it's like, true, like a true soulmate, you know, will smack you inside the face and wake you up pretty much. Like, it's pretty much saying, like, true love isn't, you know, all picture perfect. It's going to be something that is crazy emotionally. 
it's gonna be a roller coaster you know what I mean but that's what true love is and I feel like this is you know the person that you're meeting or the person that you're dealing with is that true person for you that really pushes you to transform this is somebody that really sees you for who you are you can't hide around this person they'll push you to be the best that, that you can be but they can also bring out the worst in you um, and I feel like the two of you guys are it's a very very mutual feeling that is a very mutual thing between the two of you guys some of you this is a past life connection here with the two of cups you guys definitely feel very mutual about each other here the connection the passion the chemistry there's a lot of passion here there's this is mostly emotions and passion this is mostly lust but then love as well here this is like when you're coming from lust and going into that love phase here is what I'm sensing um, very very powerful energies very very confident very a lot of respect that I'm sensing on both ends here you guys respect each other but there's this love there's this chemistry there's this magnetic attraction there's a sexual attraction between the two of you guys and I feel like you know they say that you know sex is like that little death or the orgasm is that little death and I feel like that could have been like the first time that maybe you guys had experienced that was with this person or if this is somebody new then you're going to be experiencing this here um, but a very powerful connection here. Um, I really, really like this for you guys. I think this is somebody that's, and I think this is somebody that's going to be very, very intellectual. Somebody that is, you know, going to be um, very, very passionate about whatever that they do. They are not, you know, they're not just going to live life to live life. This is somebody that probably has, you know, they know what they want within their life and they've made it so that they've gotten it. Um, and they see you as somebody like that as well. So like I feel like your personality really really matches well with this person They see you as somebody who gets a lot of attention. I am no I am noticing that as well though And we have justice so I feel like you guys just feel like you know this connection is balanced you feel like this connection is I'm getting the sense of an end to your karmic past cycles your past relationships some of you are even currently in a relationship and this is somebody new that's going to be coming in and you're going to be getting justice from the way that this relationship that you're currently in ends with this new person here because it's almost like you guys feeling like you know all the crap I put up with with all the people in my past it's like it was all worth it you know it's like you're finally going to realize like it was all worth it for this person like things are going to be balanced out here um and whatever clarity needed to be happened I definitely sense that you're going to be getting the clarity that you need because you're the one searching for clarity and you know maybe the clarity is the offer because maybe you know you've given them a little bit of you know cute messages to you know get the offer started but they haven't offered you anything so you're just kind of like sitting there like what the heck you know waiting for this clarity and then there you are holding it and things are balanced out because they're giving you that they're extending that offer right back to you right so this is where the two of you guys match up and um you know it goes from there all right so let's see what else can we get for this connection please All right, we have the two of swords and it came out reversed here. So with the two of swords in reverse, I'm thinking that For some of you there could have been a difficult choice that needed to be made or there was something in the way something blocking this connection and I feel like this uh, month you're gonna notice that whatever was blocking the connection whether it was that you know something independently between one of you guys um, involved in this connection or it was something uh, you know that uh, had to do with the both of you I'm sensing that the blockages and the confusion is all going to be removed throughout the week and you're gonna start seeing this for what it really is um, if there's any complications, all of that is going to be cleared up. Hermit. There's this sense, I feel like this is going to be a really, really spiritual connection here. Um, there is this sense here with, um, with this card in, in this hermit card, I am sensing that the masculine energy could, you know, be, could hold back a little bit and that's probably why 
the justice card is here because I feel like the masculine energy probably held back a little bit um, due to the fact that in the past I'm sensing that the masculine energy had been either cheated on or betrayed by the person that they were with. So I definitely sense that they still had a little bit of healing to do with that. And with the two of swords in reverse, I think that's when they're going to be coming out of that because they are going into a healing period. And I feel like with this two of swords in reverse, that's around the time where they're going to be coming out of, you know, feeling like whatever had happened in the past is, you know, blocking them from moving forward because somebody here is you know still has fears because of their past so like they're holding back okay I don't know where this okay the knight of wands like I said, a lot of passion energy. At one point, I feel like this could have been very in and out um, due to the fact that somebody was hurt from the past. Or maybe this is something that just started off as something very, very sexual and it wasn't even meant to be a relationship. But then really quickly, you know, feelings developed because this is like where even if this was supposed to be casual, it's like I'm sensing like almost like an addictive energy here where it's like, you know, maybe there is a tie developed when you were intimate with this person whatever it was because it's almost like or maybe like they can please you in a way that nobody else can because it's like for some reason after the two of you guys were intimate the first time there was something that you know you felt like if you don't talk to them often after that you felt like you know something missing um you just felt more close to them more aligned with them more you know I think the more that you're with them, the more that you hang out with them, the more that you're intimate with them, you realize more what this connection is and it's allowing them to also realize like that this is natural, this is, you know, real love and that they can allow themselves to relax, to let go and to be vulnerable, right? And I feel like the reason why if you're dealing with somebody who is moving a little bit in and out, it's because they don't know how to balance their energies. They want to rush in and they don't know how to not rush in. So all they can do is rush in and then when they realize that they've done that, they kind of take a couple steps back because they don't know what else to do. All right, what other um, mutual energies can I get for these two, please? And then we have the Queen of Cups here. But the Queen of Cups, I am sensing that there is a lot of love in this connection here. This is an energy that is very, very loving. Um, you know, this is the energy of, you know, somebody that is loving no matter what, no matter what's going on. This is a very motherly energy. Um, you and this person, there's something about a mother, like either you've been with this person for a while and maybe you're thinking of having children or this person sees you as, you know, a motherly figure. Like this is somebody that sees you as somebody that you can have children with and, um, you know, for the women, you look at your man as, you know, somebody who could be the father of your child. And it's something that was sparked through the way that you, the two of you guys are intimately. I've never actually like received messages like this, but the, it all started due to some sort of, the, I guess it's just the way that you connect or maybe this person opened you up spiritually, you know, or you were more vulnerable with them than you've ever been with anybody intimately. But there's something about this person that really broke you into who you really are, or they're going to break you out of you know your shell and into who you really are and I feel that you're going to be doing that for this person as well so it's actually a really really special connection ace of wands at the bottom of the deck some of you guys are going to get pregnant or you are thinking about having children um if you're not I would definitely be careful around this time here because there's a lot of intimate um passionate energy here so just make sure that you're being safe is all but definitely sensing like wanting wanting children or just picturing each other you know some of you never even wanted to have children and now all of a sudden it's like you want you want children with this person like you're picturing a family now all right so let's see what other love messages can we get for the beautiful Aquarius please What other love messages can we get for the beautiful Aquarius? All right, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And, you know, the 
uh, the healing, you know, it could even be that somebody's parents got divorced at one point, they've seen something happen between their parents, so now, you know, they have blockages towards relationships, it could even be something from their childhood, right, that they're still trying to get over, and sometimes people don't even know the blockages that they have, you could be coming in to help this person, um, let your friends help you, ask for it, and accept support from others, all right, a lot of energy like social energy right so um, make sure that you are spending time with your family make sure that you are socializing with your friends um, and also taking time to yourself but it looks like there's something you're going to be going through this week where it may be nice to have your friends or your family to help or even just to listen All right, and then we have, yeah, helpful people. There are people around you that are, you know, waiting. If you need help, you just have to ask. And there's people that are willing to help you, more people than you know. You don't have to do everything by yourself. And unlikely. So if there was a question, the answer it would be unlikely. All right. But then at the bottom of the deck, we have no need to worry. And with you coming out, with this Emperor and King of Wands energy, you're coming out so passionate, you're coming out so powerful, so in your worth, you know, knowing your worth, um, so powerful. I absolutely love this for you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. If you would like a personal reading based on you and your person's energy alone, or a 2020 forecast or horoscope, all that information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe or follow me on Instagram if you guys are interested. I love you and I will see you next uh, week. Have a great month. Bye guys.